Well, folks, it was bound to happen. Uh, it's our first crappy cold weather day, you know, coming into the end of summer here. Uh, it's only really a high of 45. Well, it's put a damper on putting the roof on the shed, but Brian's getting some work done anyway. So let's go over and see what he's up to. He's trying to get some work done inside. on the ladder hey you're up on the second floor yep i got three <laughs> sheets down so far oh yeah put the subfloor in yep. i gotta do some trimming now trimming now yeah i see you got the propane heater <laughs> yeah it's it works really good it's just don't it's not it gets hot <laughs> oh it makes it too hot up yeah there. so i gotta trim a couple pieces here because they well, these are shorter, but it also goes all the way to the exterior. So uh -huh. I just got to cut a little inch and three quarter notch mm -hmm. right there. Oh, I have to cut it this across here to its length, slide it up, and then I can mark where I need to cut the little little rectangle out. Oh, you're cutting in here? You know, I ain't taking it downstairs. <laughs> <sighs> oh man. You're working so hard, you're losing your pants. I know. <laughs> I forgot a belt. Oh. Oh. That one will go here. That one I can trim for the edges. Okay. But, you know, it doesn't, it has tongue and groove on two sides, so once I cut it, oh. I can put the scrap in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, because I'll took, cut two six inch pieces, I can put one on this side and one over there. Mm -hmm. And then I get, I get maybe two more sheets cut those edges off and then put the rest inside there. Are you also going to be putting up, are you going to leave these, um, leave this open or are you going to put walls up? Uh, I might, I don't know. I might put walls up, but I mean, we can access that space too. Right. So I can put more flooring in there. I got to put a six inch piece here, but I might need to put just a railing across for a while, just so you're not. Right. Right. Falling down.
Quite the method. Yeah. Usually it works pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that nail's probably tight, that's why. It's quite a system you got there. You got your electric, you got your air cord. The old kicker trick. Yeah. That was pretty good. Yeah, that's good enough to me. Yeah, it was tighter. Yeah. Okay, now floor down now getting set up to cut some trim cut some, that one trim that last osb sheet and <coughs> move the lighting up here so we can see what we're doing yeah oh this, this is a two person job this is a two person job okay So Pull now tape. you're cutting six inch strips. Just the two sides here. And then we can put the leftovers in there. Oh, because they won't have the, the tongue or groove on it. Yeah. Uh, that's about 31 inches. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so you got a pipe clamp there. Why do you got that on? All right, so, you know, the, the, the two by six on the truss kind of curves or kind of doesn't flow perfectly straight. So in order to get this centered, uh, I put a nail here and then I could um, tighten it up and I could pull that truss in or mm -hmm. you know, something like that. On one of them, I just had to sit on, the, on here and push it with my foot to get it to go that way because I had two loose trusses and it needed one, at least with a nail, to mm. be solid. So that worked out good.
turn this one a little bit. Just like that. One, two. So you need two more sheets of OSB? Well, yeah, I guess. Sun's finally out, Beautiful so day. <laughs> yeah. But it definitely makes it a challenge when you're inside working, because uh, it's really dark. So right. especially upstairs. Yeah. So. And no windows yet, although we're working on that. We're, we're working on that. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have a solution that's been working really well for us. So we've been using the Lemmy Power battery pack. This is one of those portable battery packs that you can take camping, and it's 1,500 watts. It's got two really solid handles on it. Yep. So it's easy to pick up and carry. And it has a lot of places where you can plug in different yeah. assorted. Yes, many accessories. options. It's amazing. It's got a DC outlet, 12 volt, like you'd have in your car. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got all kinds of the uh, USB charging ports. Yeah. So even wireless charging on the top. So you can throw your phone down if you're working like I do with your phone as a video camera. But Brian's found it really handy for keeping drills charged. Exactly, yeah. There's uh, four 110-watt uh, outlets on the back. One thing that's cool about this model, it has an LCD panel that gives you tons of info. and It'll tell you what the inputs are and what the outputs are. This will actually handle big power draws like halogen lamps. You can toggle between output and runtime, and this will says there's 17 hours left on this battery charging just the drill battery. I actually used this earlier this summer at an art show where it was an art market at night and it went until 10 o'clock at night and naturally you need really good lighting. So I brought my giant grow lamp that is a 100 watt grow lamp so I could have a really bright display. I had that plugged in, I had another lamp plugged in, I was charging my phone and it still had plenty of hours. I actually used it the next day to run a fan because it was 90 degrees. So um, it came in really handy for that art show. Uh, so I flipped it around to show you the other side. This is the AC side where you see one, two, three, four, 110 plugs here. That's in the little wind door there. This is where you can attach to solar panels. If you want to run solar panels, DC charge. This is like an inverter as well if you're using it in a camper. Um, your car charger and it's got overload protection. And this is fun right here. This is like a little LED light. So you've got lighting right on the device if you need a light anywhere inside, see what you're doing. There's one on the other side as well. It's a cute little unit, really practical. Um, at first I thought, what am I gonna use this for? And then we're using it all the time now. Yeah. And so this would be really good for camper vans. If you had solar panels on your camper van, instead of buying a huge system, for the camper van, you could just use this. It's all in one. Yeah. There's other options for battery packs like this, but the Lemmy Power Series is unique in that it has up to 10 year battery life capabilities. So it's longer lasting, it's more durable. It's 1500 watt hour. So, you know, some people bring these things, they only last a day, you know, at the craft show. Mine lasted two days and it still had more to go. So, so we can demonstrate it inside a little bit. So let's run that halogen light and see how right. it goes. Gotta go upstairs, turn it on. <laughs> All right. Now you hear the, the unit kick on because it's drawing a lot of power. It's, look how many watts it's drawing, 450 watts from the halogen lamp. And so you can keep track of how much time you got. Even with three hours of runtime, it doesn't mean that you can't run more items. So we're gonna try running the grinder while it's, the halogen lamp is plugged in just to show you what that's gonna draw. So it got up to 800 watts. 
output at one time, which is pretty cool. And that dropped the runtime down to about an hour. So it's interesting, right? Like you can run some heavy power tools. You can run your lighting. What Brian is normally running to run the saw tables is one electrical line from the house, but you can't run everything off one line. You know, you're constantly switching plugs. So this unit comes in really handy. So I'll have a link in the video description if you want to check it out. Check out the Kickstarter program. It's their best pricing on the heavy duty units like this. Uh, I would definitely recommend 1500 watts so it can handle big draws on power like you saw. Halogen lamp and an angle grinder drawing 800 watts. You know, you want the bigger power if you're going to do it. If you just want in camping, you know, it's going to power a lot of things all at once. We definitely found a use for it for our off-grid shed. So let me power portable battery pack guys, check it out. Um, hopefully you'll get in on the deal. And that's a stopping point for us till the weather clears out. We'll get started on the windows next weekend. Take care. Uh, look at your cute little beanie cat. <laughs> Yellowhead. <laughs>